But here we go. In the white, Gabriel Almeida. In the blue, Jaime Canuto. Nice little foot sweep action here. Jumping Beautiful guard there jump from Almeida. Guard. Yeah, it was a nicely timed guard pull. And these guys have faced off more than once, both, I believe, Gi and No Gi. So they know each other's games Nice pendulum well. action here. Look at all that, that kicking and spinning just to create that better angle. And Gabriel right in onto the legs. But Pedro answering his own. And you mentioned about the, uh, the K guard action. And, and yeah. Almeida is unable to go all the way around to the back, but enters into this 50-50 and now will most likely look to come up on top. But Pedro's looking for the ankle lock. Yeah, he has a grip on his own lapel here with his right hand. It's very hard to create the pressure needed to finish, but there but does seem to be some extension here, yeah, absolutely. Also, I feel like Almeida's reaction itself is kind of a sign that yeah, look, this the foot is bending. tight. Yeah, absolutely. Again, it's not very common, but those that can do it, it uh, you know, Elizabeth Clay is another one who finishes consistently for 50-50, so, you know, sometimes we joke about it, but it's not to be counted out for those who are great technicians with, the, with that position. The thing about Pedro Mourinho is he is one of the nicest, politest guys that you could possibly hope to meet. Both of these guys are actually, yeah, Gabriel Mayer really as are. well. And yet, Pedro, so aggressive. <laughs> when Pedro competes, oh my word, yes. he, man, he smashes on submissions. He's a killer. He is an absolute killer when it comes to, there's no mercy when he no. competes, let's put it that way. No, it's almost like a little alter ego, I think, yeah. that, goes, that goes on. Anish because, is the beast. Yes, because <laughs> a totally opposite, you know, outside of the mats, 100%, nicest guy ever, and then just an animal when the match starts. A little bit of controversy over there with Marilo Santana and Andre Porfirio, but I believe Andre Porfirio just scored the last advantage to get the win in that quarterfinals match on the other side of the bracket. The winner of this match will move through into the semifinal to take on Jaime Canuto. So far, Gabriel Almeida, this is actually his first match of the tournament, his uh, side of the bracket played out that his opponents no showed. Pedro Mourinho just had the one match against Jake Watson yesterday. A, uh, that was a tightly contested match. match as well, yeah. It was. A lot of back and forth, a lot of action. And now we're, you know, we're stuck in this, uh, oh, Pedro May. It's 50-50. Oh, and just rem reminder that Pedro is on the bottom position. <laughs> a little apology for the kick to the yeah. face. <laughs> Dynamic defense, but yeah, yes. good so sportsmanship. Just a reminder, Pedro is in the bottom position, so if Gabriel does come on top, he will score the two, which it looks like we're about to see right here. There it is. Two points for Almeida. Yeah, I would say this, is, this position is not either of these guys strong suits. Not to say that they cannot play from here, of course they can, but they both have such dynamic action when they get going in their preferred position. So I do hope that we start to see some separation here. We see Pedro attacking the opposite foot now. But as we know, it can be hard to disengage from this position once you're in it without giving up some certain risks, so. You know, this, uh, this kind of control here is a little unorthodox to so going for the uh, straight ankle lock on the, on the free side. leg. But we actually saw brown belt Austin Orende submit an opponent with this exact move yes. just a couple of days ago here at Pan. So it is possible. So Austin Orende has some in insane leg attacks, let does. me tell you. <laughs> so that does. is a good example there. Yeah, and when you're in this 50-50 position, it, uh, well, it seems like... Gabriel is trying to start to come to that left side. May try to extract his right foot and leave that 50-50 position. He has this lapel. He's been holding on that lapel for a while. I'm not sure what the goal is here. He hasn't tried to wrap it around or, or punch it through. But just waiting in case. And again, Gabriel Meda is in the top position now, even though they're both seated. So if Pedro Mina does come on top, he'll answer with his own two. They'll be back two to two to uh, with that evened out score. We well, might, yep, and that's what we're gonna see here. So Pedro Mourinho coming on top, he gets the two, and it looks like he's gonna put some pressure down with his right knee and try to open up that 50-50 with his arms. But with that lapel in the way, with his own lapel in the way that Gabriel has, he's not gonna be able to bring the leg to the other side, to bring Gabriel's leg to the other side. Although he is gonna attack the foot here with this uh, rear naked choke grip a little bit. Right hand on top of the shin, left hand on his own bicep. Difficult to finish from here because Gabriel is able to punch his right foot down to the mat, which we're seeing his right foot staying nice and straight. It's not bending at all. 
But with that lapel grip, again, it makes it very difficult to exit this 50-50 position. The lapel grip that Gabriel has is kind of holding everything in place with his right foot. So we're going to see a little bit of a teeter-totter here. I, I do hope that these guys are able to kind of get into some other of their yeah, games. Yeah, they can open their games up a little bit because I'll be honest that uh, as exciting as this match could be, we're not going to see anything really of note if they just hang out in this position. Right, right? I mean, the first 30 seconds was amazing. Fireworks, you know? <laughs> first yeah. 30 seconds, that, that was really what I was expecting from this match. So, I, again, I do hope they, they start to leave this position. We're seeing Pedro now rotate up on top. Looking to dig underneath the legs of his right arm. Maybe again, it's very difficult, especially with Almeida controlling that lapel. That lapel really hard yes. for Pedro to uh, safely remove himself from this position. But I think he's going to go for the toe Looking hold. Looking for the direction. toe hold is a smart thing here, but that lapel yes, is really. Is. Yep. Getting some action here. And definitely some pressure there because you can see the fact that Almeida immediately he's uses his hands. Yeah, he's rotating and he's hand fighting. He doesn't want Pedro cranking on that ankle. Yeah, it's just there. Oh, almost a grip on the toe. You can see him clinching his uh, his cheek into the foot just to try to hold it a little bit longer. But again, that lapel grip is making things pretty impossible here. There is a nice, better bite on this toe hold. And I, I wonder if he would get an advantage here for the hand fighting showing the defense. Right. That would be interesting because in that case, you know, Pedro will be in this teeter-totter position, but he'll be up by an advantage, so that changes things. There we go, a nice bite here. We're seeing Gabriel have to defend a little bit now. And that's a legit attack. It doesn't look like a, an optimal position from which to finish, but you could definitely cause some uh, rotational damage to the ankle, but I don't think the referee considers that to be worth an advantage. And no score so far for that, at least. 2-2 two, two on the scoreboard. And now Gabriel just came up on top again. So now we have a 4-2 again in this teeter-totter 50-50. Looks like, you know, Pedro's opening his legs, saying, let's let's go, let's open up a little bit. But when you are in this, uh, in this top position, if you're sitting to that hip, it makes it really difficult to move anywhere. And now Pedro in on... It looks like to be the start of a knee bar almost. If he can rotate his hips into the proper position, he'd have to get his hips above the knee. Yep, he is trying to rotate here and then switching to a toe hold. Just continues to keep attacking the toe hold and the knee bar. It's a good strategy because they force different rotations of the reaction of Gabriel Almeida. One will open up the other. Yes. But with Gabriel Almeida, you know, sitting on his left hip like this, Again, it makes it very hard to sweep, but also Gabriel Mayda can't attack much from there. Right. Uh, almost. The little problem <laughs> looks, is that... The looks like that a little bit of a heel hook position, but, it, but Pedro shook his head no so that they would know that's not what he was looking yeah. for. <laughs> Interesting, because he did have the heel isolated in his elbow pit. Stepping over the top with his uh, left leg now, trying to go over the top. It's hard to do. The referee has taken a very close look at exactly where that heel is. And he yes, does the, actually have the heel cupped. I think you have to be very mindful you not do. to apply any pressure whatsoever, rotational pressure on that, because that would be an immediate that, disqualification. That really could have gone wrong. You know, yeah. that, I think that was a little bit risky because yeah. even without the reap, you're not allowed to crank on the knee that way. Because, of course, you can finish your election 50-50 and right. so on. But, so, you know, again, Pedro has Pedro been training a lot of no gi, though, right? That's so, right. you know, those instincts That's sometimes right. they just they just come out. And then he answers with another two coming up on top as Gabriel Almeida. So we're going to be even here again, is that right? We're going to be even here again. And Pedro had really not wanted to be in that bottom position. He decided, I'm not playing here anymore. Let's get some action going. A big hip switch rotation to the top. But Gabriel doing a little headstand over there. Not, And we might see an exit from this position now, almost. Oh, not quite. But Pedro does get his two okay, points. OK, Pedro's trying to get his leg out now. You can see a little bit more urgency. He's trying to step away. Less than one minute now in this fight. And we see an exit from that position. We're going to see some, some explosions, some blitz here. Trying to get that reversal, but they go out of bounds. I'm very interested to see what the referee says here. Because I would say that that was initiated while they were already on the boundary. So interesting to see so what the referee says. I don't think that that's going to score. But the referees sometimes have a habit of 
issuing the points like right late. It's 6 6 right now with 21 seconds left. This is a chance for one of these men to no score here. make a last we're impression see a lot on the judges. Of action. I think we're going to see, see a big push in this last 20 seconds. Somebody's got to make a move. Oh, huge. God pull trying to get the Tomonaki sweep, but Gabriel Meter anticipates, jumps over, Beautiful. comes up on top. Up on the on a guillotine attack here. Right at the edge of the mat. The time runs out. It's 6 6. This is going to go to a decision. No advantage for that final sequence right there at the end. We're going to have a referee's decision, Kendall, and I got to say, this could go either way. When there are 20 seconds on the clock like that, you have, and you're, and you believe you might be in a referee's decision, you have one last shot to make an impression. And I think, I'm, I think Paige Marini was able to do that right there. He initiated the guard pull, initiated the overhead sweep, and the decision does go. It to is Pedro unanimous. Mourinho. Yeah, the Gracie Baja black belt, Pedro Mourinho, moves through into the semifinal of the medium heavyweight division to face Jaime Canuto later today. Well, we're gonna stay here on mat two. Don't go anywhere because Gustavo Batista will be coming up in just a second. Uh, 